Okay, so now you click your button. Click my button. Okay. Got it. And sit down and be poised. All right. So, <laughs> hello, everyone. Uh, I am Lady Amy Mitchell of Houses of Windsor, and this is Lady Nancy Rodriguez of Cup and Crown. And we are uh, coming to you this month a little early. Special um, edition, if you will. Yeah. Special edition, yes. And if you can't tell by our outfits, it has to do with the queen. It does. God rest her so, soul. Yes. So first, what are you drinking, Nancy? I am drinking Queen Elizabeth II tea that I got from um, Pickwick and Cherry oh. online. Um, I think it closely resembles there was a tea put out for the Queen's 65th jubilee mm -hmm. um and uh it, it was put out by twinings and this seems to closely mirror it i think it's kind of what they were oh, going okay. for. it's delicious it's a blend of teas from uh around the provinces and the commonwealth and things you know oh, Kenyan cool. and indian and things like that so it's a right, right. Blend. i will be sending you some i apologize that it didn't come sooner well that's okay we didn't know <laughs> yeah um yeah i picked just a um oh my goodness i'm forgetting now uh what is the what's the brand that I'm always drinking that Claire sent me? Fortnum and Mason. There it is. I'm like I knew it was two yeah. names. Fortnum yeah. and Mason. I'm drinking just their afternoon tea blend in my queen cup. Beautiful. And yeah. So I figured it's just a a real afternoon tea. And there's yeah. your yeah. jubilee. And a celebration. It's my jubilee cup. Yes. That um... then, when you mention the jubilee tea. I was like, so I drank all of this one, but it was from 2012. And now I'm wondering, I'm like, oh, I wonder if other people, like if there's a way to find something that's similar. So this one uh, had a rich multi second flush of Assam from the Brahmaputra Brahma Valley <laughs> in Northeastern Assam. Uh, with the smooth mellow Yunnan from southwestern China. Very nice. So it looks like so it's like two things, right? It's just mm -hmm. that one of the things has a really long <laughs> name. Right, a very long name. Well, uh, yeah. the Indian teas usually are named for the um, plantations from which they come. Um, and That's a song nice. tea is is actually it's becoming one of my favorite. It has a it does have a malty but a sweetness to it too. So oh. a good quality of song is. Um, or as I've heard it pronounced by some English folk, SMT. SMT. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> anyway. I think we might say that one better. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Go with a song. Mm -hmm. Anyway. So the news came down. I was watching the news. Family was gathering. I thought she was going to rally. I thought this was going to go back and forth for weeks. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was working, uh, substitute teacher, I was in the school and one of the teachers, Nancy, Nancy, she's down the hall, come here, come here. Okay. And I go running out and there are two other teachers with her and they like right on top of me, one oh my of them my arm, are you okay? And I'm like, yes. And they're like, the queen died. Did you hear? And I'm like, she never did. And they're like, yes, she did. And I'm like, okay, okay. So I kind of took it in and there were a few other teachers around the school. They all know me in my tea party business. And mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, so, and, and then my phone, as I called you, I called you. Right, if which I'm is a good thing you did because my texts were like piling up. Yes, <laughs> piling up, but I had to call my friend, Lady Amy and, mm -hmm. uh, and see, I, I figured you'd heard, but just the same, wanted to talk to you more than anybody. Um, right. And uh, yeah. Um, started getting texts that night, that evening from other friends. When I went into the school the next day, I had on my Union Jack shirt and my mm -hmm. Union Jack earrings. And, um, and I want to tell you more about that because um, I ran into my British friend at school that yes. day, um, right. which was a chance happening. Um, but I want to hear from you when you got the news and everything else. Okay. Okay. So I'll tell my story up to that same point in time. <laughs> so, so I, um, Woke up Thursday morning and uh, in the in our co-parenting text group, uh, Dave had said something like, have you seen the news? It's like, it seems like the queen's taken a turn for the worst or something. So it was like, oh, right. well, let's see what this is. So then I look and I was like, oh, like, okay. So I guess doctors are even saying publicly that they're concerned, like right, that's right. something new. And so 
but I, like you, thought that it would be just, I didn't think she would necessarily rally, but I thought it was going to be at least a couple of days, if not like a week of kind of people in their bed, you know, bedside or whatever. Um, so then I, I went to my attorney job, uh, my legal assistant job and was there. And then I think that's when you told, you texted me at one point and said that the family members were told to come, right? Mm -hmm. To, mm -hmm. yeah, to be by your side. And then someone else texted me and they said, oh my gosh, like, did you hear the news about the queen or something? And I said, yeah, I know it sounds serious. Like everyone's going to see her. <laughs> like I texted that and they're like, and then he sent a screenshot of the TV he's watching that says Queen dies at age 96. It was like, all right, well, that was fast. Yeah. And then, yeah. And so, and it didn't really, it felt strange. So, uh, cause it feels like I don't know I've been thinking weirdly thinking about that day like all the well, time we, and like you and I have talked about it because it was, it's inevitable she's 96 years old for crying out right yes. right right like yeah. and she is a human <laughs> she's not immortal she is she is <laughs> so it's like so I'm like will I be really upset what am I gonna like you know how am I gonna react and so it's it felt like before I could really process it like I was still at work doing my legal assistant work um, and then it was like, I started getting like a whole bunch of texts, but I just, I could see most of them were like, Hey, are you okay? I'm sorry. Like people who know me for the queen, but they aren't themselves a queen person. And right, so, right. Yes. so I was like, yeah. you know, I'll deal with these later. I'm doing my work. Um, and then I got a call from, uh, our president of the British American chamber of commerce, Terry. And he was like, Hey, he's like, so, uh, I've, I got a couple of uh, emails from some news channels like TV and radio. And he's like asking if we want to like comment on it. So I'm sending them your way and telling them they need to talk to Lady Amy. <laughs> it's like, awesome. Thank you so much, Terry. <laughs> um, and so I, uh, yeah, so then it was like, okay, call these numbers. So it's like, I kept taking little time outs from my work right there and like trying to do this and that. Um, <laughs> Sneaking out of the desk, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh no, it was, it was all on the up and up, but I'm like, I just felt bad because I like, we sit right next to each other, uh, the, the attorney and I, so he has to answer the phone a lot and is on the phone a lot. So like, I can't really be on the phone. So I'd have to like step outside if it was a phone call or whatever. But, okay. So I was kind of like in and out, um, but, uh, and I feel like with so many royal things, especially, you know, since the Harry and Meghan, since that brought me on TV, Fox 35, right? it's always like in the back of my mind, but for some reason this time, it was like, I hadn't thought about it at all until like Terry called me. Like I was just thinking about, oh my God, like the queen, died, like, mm -hmm. okay, and now Charles and like what, you know? And then it was like, oh, right. <laughs> This is, this is something with the news. So um, I was going to, so I reached out to my contact at Fox 35 and she was on her way to, on like a girls weekend, but she was like, oh, did so-and-so already call you? I was like, no. And I was like, I was calling you. And she's like, oh no, they just texted me a bit ago. And I was like, hey, who is that? Who's that lady that you always talk to? <laughs> I mean, the lady. lady. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So she sent her my yeah information and and so they ended up getting me set up to do it uh, on Zoom uh, Friday morning. And then there was another station that, as far as I know, didn't end up using my footage. They said they interviewed like a whole lot of people, but that was a Zoom one. And that was the super rushed one on Thursday evening. So like, if they didn't use it, that's fine. Right, right. <laughs> that was the one where I exactly, got home yes. and my fascinator was broken. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it was just kind of uh, felt like a whirlwind and uh, I don't know, just like sped up Thursday and Friday and like, you know, spit me out into, th into Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, have, have you been following like today, you know, they uh, took her, she's now lying uh, at um, 
St. Giles Cathedral in Scotland and her children were there. I don't know if the grandchildren were there. I know the children were there. Okay. Okay. So what, yeah, so I'm not keeping up real well with it. So what is the plan? Like they move her throughout the country so people can pay their respects or what? No, so she's supposed to lie in state two days. I don't know if that meant today and tomorrow, which I'm assuming it does. And then they will drive her and she will stop in Aberdeen and Dundee. I can't believe I'm remembering these facts, but That's yes, great. Aberdeen and Dundee. Um, uh -huh. Stopping, I don't know, to, to lie in state in those places as well. I don't know exactly. Then the funeral itself is Monday. Um, and, uh, you know, there are people in London already, they've been lining up the Green sure. Park, which if you're not familiar, the audience is mm -hmm. a big park right next to um, Buckingham Palace. And they've opened up the queue to uh, for people to sign, um, mm. uh, say their condolences and whatnot. Um, it's just, this is astronomical. I mean, it's yeah. not just that you and I have an affection right. through Anglophilia through this. It's not just, it's the historical. I, I am a sucker for a good historical story. I right. am a sucker for a good uniform, some pomp and circumstance ritual. Oh yeah. It's one of the reasons that I am drawn to that culture because they just revel in it mm -hmm. and, and nobody does it better. Um, right. So uh, yeah, I mean, there's, there's just gonna be a lot going on. So I'll, I don't know the events between the drive and her getting to Westminster, um, but uh, this, the funeral will take place at 11 a.m. on Monday the 19th, um, interjecting that that's uh, the same time that I'm gonna be having my foot surgery, or I shouldn't say the same time, but that same day. Right, I'll be right. getting up at 5.30, so that would be six o'clock our time, remembering the five hour difference. Right, right, lovely. Um, I'll be getting up at 5.30 in the morning to watch the pre-events and, um, and then to watch the funeral. Um, and oh gosh, yeah. when I come out of my anesthetic that evening, um, I'm right. watching the recap on BBC and uh, just eating it all up. Um, right. It really is just a tremendously historic moment. Um, mm -hmm. And it's not just, it's not just felt there. So I, I was at mass yesterday and it was funny that the priest actually tried to tie in um, the death of a queen, the events mm -hmm. of 9-11, things like that. He did not do a good job, but, um, but he did kind of side swipe. <laughs> Um, he did kind of side swipe and he says, I, I think it's funny how many people in America are so drawn to the British monarchy when we fought a massive war to try to, sh you know, <clears throat> shed that, sure. um, but the times were always there. That's, that's where most of this country right. from and, and was established. So. Right. Um, well, and, and to that, I'd say I didn't fight. <laughs> <laughs> like we're several generations removed from that fight. <laughs> like, that's funny. Well, so I was at school mm -hmm. and I learned that my friend Emma um, was there and I texted her. I said, I want to see you. Because right. so, I forget, does she sub or what is she? She does. How do you substitute yeah. teacher. Okay. So it's just and, if you both happen to be there. Yes. Um, and, uh, and I said, I'll come down. I'll try to find you on my break. And I happened to walk down and she was standing in the office, which is glassed off and everything. But I saw her and she looked at me. And I went like this because I had on my Union Jack yeah. shirt and she just went. And so I went into the office mm -hmm. and I said, how are you? She goes, uh, I just, I, I don't know how to say what I'm feeling right now. And mm. she, um, uh, she quickly asked about my foot and boy, did I give her an earful. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, anyway, um, I said, I'm getting ready to go to lunch. And she goes, oh, oh yeah, I'll come with you. Yes. So we walk in the break room and I said, so King Charles III, huh? I wonder if he mm -hmm. thought about not going by Charles, but I guess in this day and age, that's how everybody knows him. It's not right, like, right. you know, hundred years ago, you could change and it wouldn't be that, you know. Right, right. Wouldn't be a huge before. deal. Yeah. Yeah. And she sat, we sat down and she just, da, 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 and she talked and I, of course, I was just listening to her. Just ate it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. But it was great that I know enough to keep up with everything she talked oh, about, right. what she was feeling. She was talking about how mom was six years old when the coronation took place. Wow. And um, I felt very honored to have been there just for her. I feel like she really needed somebody to talk to. Yeah. And she's, you know, a Brit alone in America here. Um, right. So it was great to talk to her. And then um, 
And then I'll just wrap this up real quick. So oh, yeah. you, get it. you remember the Paddington bear skit that they did for the Jubilee? Yes. Mm -hmm. saw that. For those who have not seen it, you must find it. Paddington bear, Queen's Jubilee um, on YouTube. It's precious and it was so well done. Well, I was showing it to Jackie. This was Saturday mm -hmm. evening. And, um, and I was showing it to Jackie and they come that line that everybody has, has adopted and everybody's using it right now with a picture of Paddington. And it, let's see if I can get through it. Okay. And he looks at her and he says, thank you, ma'am, for everything. Mm -hmm. I absolutely lost it. And um, it's so weird to feel this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have any idea that I even exist. <laughs> right, right. But just to have that, it, I think it's, I don't know. I, it's hard to describe, but I, I texted my friend, Emma, and I said, I'm watching all this stuff on TV and thinking of you. And she, she wrote back, she said, I can't watch any of it. She's mm. like, so sad to be so far removed from everything going on. Oh, right, right. And she said, I, I can't watch any of it. And I said, well, I am thinking of you and I'll be watching the funeral. And she wrote back and she, what did she say? She said, thank you so much for all of that. Um, you're a mate. And I was like, I'm a mate. Oh, oh my gosh, you're someone's <laughs> mate. <laughs> That's great. Um, yes. Oh my goodness. I will yeah. give the floor to you because I swear yes. to God, I could just keep going all day. Oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. so like I didn't have a British person in person to talk to, but I um, spoke with a couple of different ones, but the, let's see. So, um, well, Trevor at tea time, um, he said he was just, he was surprised at how much it did affect him. Really? Like, because he's been so far removed and right. just kind of you know sort of whatever and yeah it was so it was more affected by it than he thought he would be and uh Kat didn't say a lot but I know I she messaged me beforehand she was very sad about it so it's really I was gonna ask you that's what I was gonna say yeah and and I had made the so I made this I don't know, prediction or whatever, <laughs> when I found out about the Queen's passing and like my attorney who doesn't know anything about it uh, or about the royal family and stuff and is like asking me questions. And I said something like, I was like, you know what? I bet there's gonna be, a, I said, I bet even all the people that are like down with the monarchy, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I bet they're gonna be like, oh, I didn't expect that to like, you know, like just mm -hmm. sort of hit them out of the, blue in their mind because it's like they don't care and then when it actually happens they're like oh shit <laughs> right. she, she's been step she is a constant figure how many right. people are alive that are weren't or that were older than her I mean there right, are right that, that know her she is a symbol and she's mm -hmm. everybody's granny I mm -hmm. mean so those who are anti-monarchists are not going to go for her jugular. They're going to go for Charles. <laughs> so. Right, right. But even even with that, I am surprised how I'll say in general, I've, I have not heard anything negative about him now. Like all this, okay, you'll tell me in a second, but all the stuff before seemed like everyone's like, let's skip Charles. Rah, rah, rah. Mm -hmm. And then it seemed like once he had to be forced into being the king everyone was kind of like all right like his mom does like whatever like forget all whatever yes he, yes yes yeah, right so and I was pleased with that because you know that's how I feel about him and Camilla um and uh the other British friend that I spoke with on the phone he was saying um and he's been gone yeah, he's, he's probably in his like 60s, I think, but he um, has been, you know, out of the United Kingdom for 30 plus years, or whatever, but he, yeah, he was very, uh, yeah, saddened by it, because she just was such a, you know, a great lady and everything, and I am, I guess, I'm bothered by myself not feeling like sad, sad yet, like I haven't gotten teary like you have. And all I can figure is that like when I started thinking about it for 96 years and we're always like, man, she lived through like this and this and like all this technology and all these things. I was like, she had like the fullest 96 years like possible. And I was like, she finally gets to rest. Yeah, yeah. Literally, this is retirement, yes. <laughs> you know? That's what so Elton John like, said. Elton was doing a concert, you see that? And he um, played, don't let the sun go down on me. 
in honor of Queen to a huge crowd. And he said, um, and he said, and this is for her because she's worked bloody hard. Mm. That mm-hmm. was so sweet. Another that's awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, sweet. right, right. I know. Yeah. So um, maybe if you watch the funeral, it, it's things like that. That's what I'm crazy. thinking. Yeah, it's like I'm gonna have to actually, yeah, like watch the funeral and do things. And uh, Piper was with her uh, at her dad's house this weekend, but. Um, they showed her the video of me on the news because she's seen like the other ones before and and she and so then she wanted to call me afterwards and talk to me and she's like mommy I saw you on tv I was like cool I was like what do you think she's like I'm good <laughs> like she didn't have anything to say but then uh her dad's like talking in the background and he's like what was mommy talking about <laughs> the queen's dead but like in a four-year-old where it's just like a matter of fact and I was like I wasn't sure how it would affect her because the queen is all over our house and and the car (laughs) and we call her queen grandma so like I didn't know yeah or if she'd like start making connections in her head that like we call her queen grandma and I have grandmas and like you know start Uh Uh start and ask questions um it's not happened yet (laughs) (laughs) so far so good um are you going to keep the decal on your car by the way uh yeah I think so I don't know um someone you should get one of Charles on the other side that's what yeah that's what someone said I was like (laughs) I'll do that and there was like are you gonna get a cardboard cutout I was like sure I said if someone's because that one I got a ridiculous price on Amazon because it was a a used one it was like returned (laughs) but it had never been opened so I'm like, if someone wants to buy a Charles and return it to Amazon, then I'll buy you use <laughs> Ooh, ooh, what if I do that? I yeah. return it and then you can get it used. Oh my gosh. Well, don't put it on the recording. Well, now, now they know the key. <laughs> that would be oh. awesome. <laughs> questions I'm like I wonder if Amy's going to keep the sticker on her car so um no I think it I it, you know there's been a lot of cheer and long with Charles and or excuse me long with the king and, uh, and right. I think it, it is great to see so there was because the haters are just gonna hate honey they just gonna, right so where are you hearing the haters yeah so there they're... was an article um on I don't remember what where I got it but um <laughs> apparently like during was it right before right after the signing of mm-hmm. yesterday's events when he's I think it was yesterday I guess he walked up to a desk and went to the servants like like clean this up oh <laughs> and people were like oh so quick of course you know they're like sure oh, sure yeah no, like- and you know he can't even clean up his own desk he's got to have somebody to do it for him and um and I can see both sides of that that's not a that's that's an ugly display to see something like that but at the same time you are raised in a class system where that's their job that is their job and he if he does those things I'm going to go back to if anybody remembers a line from Downton Mm -hmm. Abbey so who keep firing everybody because you're going to do everything yourself right Um, right so um you know I, I see both sides of the coin on that one. Right. Like, eh, what, uh, you remember your cameras are on. You need to. Right, right. Well, that's what I was going to say. I feel like I would give him uh, some grace because even if that is what he would normally do in private, mm-hmm. like, whatever. But, like, you know, the queen is very practiced on knowing she was out in the public eye. Yeah. Yes. And, and what that, like, like, magnitude. And so, Charles, it's like, it's new to him again. Uh, his mom just passed away Thursday. Like, I mean, I talked about being in a whirlwind for a day and a half, right? Like, I mean, he's still, he's going to be in it for a while. So let's, let's let him, let him have someone clear yeah. his desk. Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? Like, let's talk about that because he's a human being. Mm-hmm. He's lost his mother. Siblings have lost their mother. And he has to get up and get dressed and go pe- meet people and he has to yeah. meet and they keep it together no yeah keep it together no chance to really privately mourn um constantly keep face yeah uh, you know when when his dad died at the funeral this is i, I mm-hmm. love the picture they, you know he's he's walking behind his dad's casket and he's got tears mm-hmm. 
I can only right, imagine right. this one's going to show, but um, again, this is a family all the way down to the great grandchildren that have right. to keep it together and have to, I don't know how else to put it, but basically be symbols. Yeah, than yeah, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. To yeah, perform their duty. Yes, <laughs> right. Duty, yes. And yeah. Yeah. and I think yeah, and that's so it's interesting to now I guess I'll say see it live and in an action uh, or like in the present because this is something that you know I'm not the first to have talked about it, but like I'm always thinking about like how bizarre that is. That feeling must be that like your parent has to die for then you to become whatever it is that you become. You and so it's be. like, so that's why it's like on the queen's like ascension day, right back in February 6th, when she made her, you know, broke the record. It's like, oh yeah, she broke the record because her dad died. Like it's a bittersweet thing, right? Like, right. So right. it's like such a, yeah, it's just, I get, I get it that that's just the way it's always been. And like, they are, you know, I guess prepared as much as possible for it, but it is a very bizarre thing. Like, you know, I agree I, I, to have to take that on. And so I was watching on, I don't know, I can't remember, Saturday, Sunday, must have been Saturday. Um, Cause I'd heard, I was watching BBC news and they said, um, the new Prince and Princess of Wales yay, yeah, yeah, um, right? have been, um, they, they were expecting them to do the walkabout in front of Windsor. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, oh, well, I want to see that. Yeah. And I sit down in front of the TV and I watch the Windsors get out as well as the Sussexes. And I was like, whoa, that was not mentioned. And I did read. Were, that were they all in the same expected. car? They were all in the same car. Wouldn't you love to Lovely. be a guy on that wall? The chauffeur gets, yeah. gets a book deal later on. Um, so, <laughs> right. um, but they all get out and, and they said security wasn't expecting it. It was a last minute decision. But according to a source, the Sussexes were invited by, by William mm -hmm. to come do this and show, you know, have a show of solidarity. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, I love watching it. It was great. Just going to say, because I always do, Kate was stunning. Yeah, so, I only, so I only watched like bits of it. I was doing work and some other stuff, but I had it like live or whatever running on. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yes. So and it was just exciting, yeah, to just see. Yeah. Did you want so they get out and there's Kate and there's mm -hmm. William and then there's Harry and Megan joined at the hands. Mm -hmm. And it's so it's such an obvious thing that these two are constantly holding hands mm -hmm. and Kate and William are not. Um, right. or displays of minor affection, whether it was the hand holding where she did go up and put her arm around his back while he was looking at things. And, and Kate did the same for Will. Um, and so, you know, you saw that, but I was going back to, again, William has probably been raised mm -hmm. and Kate trained. There is no sure. PDA. You do not have displays of affection and sure. you do not hold hands. And that's, that's why you don't see them doing that in any of the events or any of their- Right, right. Um, you know, Harry has removed himself from that. He is allowed to do that. Right. Um, and he's were, Americanized. Like yeah. that's the American yeah. way. Absolutely. And, but it, there's, there was criticism. There was internet, Twitter criticism for all. On both things. sides, like were some people like judging William and Kate and then other people judging Harry and. Uh, a lot of people <laughs> saying, Do look how he holds her hand and, and guards her and William does not. Got it. Um, and at the very end, when they stood behind the car, you could see William say something like, okay, photo op, turn around, you know, that right, they right. came together. And when they start to get in the car, I watched it and Harry, and it was something very pointed. It was something I really picked up on. Yeah. My husband does it for me all the time. He helped Megan get, he held the door open for Megan and then went around and got himself in. Mm -hmm. Kate and got the, the bodyguard opened the door for Kate. William got in on his side. Got and, it. You know, there's a lot of, I think there's a lot of, this is what they're used to kind of thing, but mm -hmm. there, was, there was that voice in my head. I was like, wow, that was really striking. And that sure was. enough, the next day, all over Twitter, all over sure. that, um, Will was really lambasted for, for not doing it. Um, people saying, you know, Harry has more respect for 
his wife than Will does for his. And I'm like, you know, these are coming from a lot of Americans who don't know. And this is, I would say, this is like such a funny change of events too, because it's like how fickle the media is. Like, Amen. you know, since when do they care if anybody's protecting Megan? <laughs> like, or protecting Well, again, th these may have been American Twitters, I would right, imagine, right. American right. Twitter, American press, um, because I, I think British press were probably still much kinder to the former Cambridges, right. now Windsor's, right. than they were to the Sussexes. But right. that's, those are just, those are some of the things that I saw. And it's like, wow. Well, you know? And I, yeah, again, I was not, I am, yeah, I'm not made as a human being to write uh, newspapers because for me, I'm just too understanding. I'm like, neither side was wrong nor right. Mm -hmm. They're fine. Mm -hmm. They're doing their own thing. Right. Like, yeah, Kate and William are following suit like for what their role is and where yes. they live and everything. Yes. yes. Harry and Megan have always been extra touchy and whatever. Mm -hmm. So like that's their thing. You know, he's he's more Americanized now. So he's gonna yes. go around and walk and hold open the door and yes. blah blah blah. Like, yes. And those, and probably the feeling that they needed each other because there has been so much vitriol coming from well, yeah, against him, against her now. That's and, to say, um, yeah, people, so, he probably feels like he has to protect her. I mean, yes. people are like and, real and, and needs the camaraderie and support himself, yes. Right, right. Yeah. Um, but that makes me happy that they were all together. Mm -hmm. Like, huh. you know, mm -hmm. no matter what was said in the car, they're in the same car together. Great. Yeah. That's, yeah. You know. How are the kids? They're <laughs> doing great. Wow, what is this weather going to bring today? Right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> You're a bitch. Right? <laughs> yeah, just be like, can you can you believe what they're writing about you? Well, what are they writing about you? <laughs> I'm just sharing. You really haven't been getting very good press lately, honey, have you? <laughs> no, right? So yes. Um yeah. yeah, so it's but that is good and hopeful. And you know, um I'll say I'm sure the, the queen would be pleased to, you know. Just to see them come together, absolutely. Um, yeah, yeah, that's bringing them together. Yes. Um, and I liked a lot, which I'm sure, well, I should say, I'm sure some people really enjoyed like me is that when Charles was saying his, you know, his speech that he s mentioned Harry and Meghan and like wanted to express his love for them as they make their lives, uh, you know, overseas. Yes. And it was like, perfect. That was like perfectly said. I agree. It I agree. It wasn't too little. It wasn't too much. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't, I mean, the only reason why I had to say more about William and Kate, because there's so many titles and stuff. Precisely. <laughs> so. Precisely. Because Pete, that, that, that's going to be a question and he has to, and he has to award that to them. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Right. And so, um, do you know, I feel like I've looked this up before. What is the Duchy of Cornwall? Isn't it some kind of like account, like a money thing? All right, we'll it? Yeah, should I look that up? Yeah, because it's no like, how do you get it? There's a duke. <laughs> yeah, it's like, because there's the Duke and Duchess of uh, Cornwall, but then, they, but then there's the Duchy that you like, that he oversees or whatever. Duchy of Cornwall. What are you? No, no, there's also a Duchy of. It's one of two royal now, duchies. One of two England. royal duchies in England, the other being the Duchy of Lancaster. But what's a duchy? <laughs> the, the eldest son of the reigning British monarch inherits possession of the duchy and title. Okay, so I think, yeah, what do we, let's look up duchy. Right. Uh, yeah, I think more of a- Is it just another name for Cornwall? <laughs> yes. Like it's just the town? <laughs> I wonder. Because for some reason, I always thought it was money. A territory, the territory belonging to a duke or duchess, a dukedom. Okay. <laughs> well, let's okay. talk about money. So yeah, I say so. Well, here I was gonna say this is why uh, I was thinking it had to be something to do with money. It says that you know the government considers the duchy to be a crown body and therefore exempt from paying corporation tax. The tax exempt status of the duchy has been challenged. And from 1993 to his accession to the throne in 2022, Prince Charles, Duke of Cornwall, voluntarily paid income tax on the duchy income, hmm. uh, less amounts that he considered to be official expenditure. Well, hmm. I think that's 
super great <laughs> like, yeah. don't wait to be forced to do it if that's like what oh, people precisely. want you to do no right? exactly well and everybody's waiting with bated breath too is he going to be less activist um and take so much more of a neutral stance as his mother has done all of these years right well i feel like when it i don't know when it comes to environmentalism and stuff it's, i don't know I feel like there's no point in him becoming neutral now. We already know how he feels. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But I think like, he, he's, he's yeah. going to have to learn to zip it, I guess, and not not say uh, what Everything. he's doing about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I realized I used the, that line from um, the Dowager Countess of Grantham. Oh, I know. We you talk about money. Um, <laughs> but the money has to be printed. The money's being printed now because it, uh, it has to have Charles's face on it now. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how this works, and this is something I plan to research. I wish I'd come to the table with this. This is say because are they trying to like decirculate? The Thank you. And how much time do they have to do that? Do you go somewhere and change out your bills? I mean, that right, is a right, massive undertaking. Well, now that you point that out, I'm really excited that my friend uh, brought me back a mint crisp twenty pound note with the Queen's picture on it. Like, hey, you, I was thinking like. Okay, cool. Like, I mean, I'll get this next time I'm over. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you won't. You won't. You won't. <laughs> now, hey, by the way, my son yeah. has eagle eyes for everything. He's my fisherman. Mm -hmm. Found a King George the Sixth coin two weeks ago. Really? Where? Yeah. Um, was it given to him? Because it's about the size of a dime. I think it's when he was. Oh. I have to ask him again. I, I want to say yeah that he somebody gave it to him and it was given to him like in place of a dime. Sure. Oh God, he brought well, that's it. That's awesome. Isn't that cool? I keep meaning that to, is... to Instagram that the, a photo of it because I'm like, that is oh, so awesome. Cool. Oh, yeah. that's so cool. And, and let's talk about the the pillar, the the post boxes and the and the um, red pillars and the all the things around that have yeah. for many years have had ER two on it. Um, this uh, one. <laughs> yeah, that one. I was exactly ER two, and um, it's my understanding if you, I think there are like still one or two post boxes that still have Victoria's print on it, but they never changed cool. them out, which is so cool. That's but a neat idea, to, yeah, to let some stay. Yeah. yeah, and I think you should, but I mean, we're talking 70 years of modern Britain, a lot of post boxes. Right, that's probably. true. It's a lot more a things lot. stamped I, in the 70s. Expense. Yeah, that's an expense though. To, uh, is the country gonna foot the bill to- Right, right. Suddenly to just to trash them or to, and, and replace them with something for Charles, which is going to be for how long? 20 years? Right. Not going to say. Well, that's, I wonder um, if they have some way that they do things where it's not like getting rid of the whole, you know, receptacle or whatever. Like right. it's somehow changing over whatever it is, like where the pictures and stuff are, or the carvings, you know, like the molds. Right. Because I mean, they had to switch it all to her from her dad. So like, exactly. what were they doing back then? Exactly. You know? Exactly. And yeah. you know, let's have the preparation too. The preparation for her, um, the planning for her yeah. demise has right. been years in coming. Um, I watched an interview and they said we've kind of had things in place since 1965. That's um, what I thought. It was like yeah. a long time ago. Yeah. Exactly. Um, you know that they. I think I think they probably all have minor plans for everybody because you never sure. know what accident can happen as what happened with Diana for anybody right. who's seen the movie right. between um, you know that she was given the initial funeral mm -hmm. plans of Tay Bridge that were supposed to be for the Queen Ma. Um, mm -hmm. But these plans, so they've had them for the the Queen for like since 1965, but they have been updating them. They, I guess the committee gets together every so many years to say, okay, well these people won't be invited because whatever changes in the world or those people have passed away who knows um or we're going to do this instead and all these things so um suddenly to put this in place the things you're seeing are things that they've known for a long time this right. is probably going to happen and um so yeah i mean kind of kind of weird it is because you know, she would have had to have thought about her own mortality which i'm sure you know at 96 you do right still, well and people people do we'll say normal people will mm -hmm. often plan out kind of like what their funeral, what they want it to be, or like certain elements of it ahead of time. So it's like, 
that is sort of a thing anyway but yeah it would be such just like on a grander scale and right. at, at tea time last friday we uh trevor was talking about how there's gonna be a flower shortage uh you know probably in flower shops and i was like oh yeah good point and then cat's like well, they're gonna need flowers for the funeral and then it's like and, I, and we're like we're like i'm pretty sure that if they've got everything else planned they didn't forget to have like a secret flower supplier yes <laughs> so yeah so we were laughing that it would be like after all like you know since 1965 planning and one person forgot about the flower shortage <laughs> <laughs> well you know they've had the the florist has been on standby you know they, they've that's known what i was saying yeah, we were, yeah, yeah yeah so yeah, that's, that's why we were just joking like as if they hadn't had that planned <laughs> yes exactly oh what did this they're like, just go get all the, yes. yeah they're like just go get all the flowers from the from the gates <laughs> Which I understand, as, as they did in, in, for Diana, really start to reek, as you can imagine. Oh, I'm sure, yeah, yeah. Diana died in August, of course, so things were much hotter then. But um, yeah. Uh, they take them, or do you know? Maybe. What's that? Do they switch them out, or do you know, like do you know if they take the it's old just, ones, it's or they just, just constantly laid on top of each other until there's just a yeah, yeah. So you can't, of, yeah, yeah. Of, you know, a blend right. of um, cellophane flowers. Right. Um, right. So, and, and everywhere too. I mean, that, that's just, wow, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. It is a lot. Um, yeah. We'd love to see it. I know people are lining up and people are flying mm -hmm. over to see it. Man, there was a point I was going to make too. And, uh, and oh, we we're going to talk about, um, so for those that don't know that the Royal, and I, I know that you know this, um, the Royal funerals are all given um, a plan name by the name of a bridge, um, which is supposed to be symbolic of um, the bridge from this life to the afterlife, but the bridges around London name. Mm -hmm. So um, let you go ahead and tell everybody what. I, well, yeah, I was like, I honestly didn't know it was symbolic. I thought it was just like a fun, <laughs> just like, just name them after the bridges. No, it actually, <laughs> yeah, symbolic. That's cool, yeah. mm -hmm. that's cool. So yeah, so the Queen's uh, plan since 1965 has been called uh, London Bridge. Mm -hmm. That's the bridge she got. And you mentioned Tay Bridge. Yes. Uh, where it? Do you know where Tay Bridge is? I don't I recall know. where Tay Bridge is. I don't. Um, does anybody get? Does anybody get Tower Bridge? That's the one I would want. Well, it's funny you say London Bridge because I thought it was. I thought hers was Tower Bridge, but um, but you're right. It, it's London Bridge. So I almost yeah. thought so too. I feel like maybe you said, or I like saw something that said London Bridge, and it got me thinking. It was like, why am I thinking it's Tower? And like I like fact checked <laughs> myself, and I was like weird yeah I'd had it in my head this whole time that it was like Tower Bridge so I'm well it alone. is the most imperious bridge I mean that's the one that everybody flocks to but sure if you don't know think that that is London Bridge London Bridge is not Tower Bridge Tower Bridge Correct. is not London Bridge it's the two that's different, right. two, different, two different bridges so yes um, Tower Bridge is beautiful <laughs> yes it is it is lovely to go it see is my favorite yeah, it's like <laughs> here I can I was like I've got it on my virtual background We'll just hop over to the bridge now, real quick. <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah. So we, so yeah, it's like so we have it uh, in the evening here. Mm -hmm. We have it when it has. Oops, hold on. The Olympics. The Olympics. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, and then this one I love. It's like, like super old original. Oh, that's awesome though. <laughs> that's yes. Bridge, that's yes, that's cool. So that's Tower Bridge. And then, oh, I know we were talking about bridges one time. This is Westminster Bridge. That, so um, I stayed, when I was in London, I stayed at the base of that bridge on this side of it. We've stayed at um, one of the hotels. Oh, really? That was my oh, view, that's cool. the bridge and everything. It was awesome. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm totally staying there and yeah, look yeah. out the iconic London. It was phenomenal. Wow. Yeah. That's great. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Um, so with the, what was I going to ask you? Um, so it's like I'm trying not to jump over because we said something about Queen Victoria I'm like I finally finished Queen Victoria season you three. did and Kat looked it up because I was talking about it and Kat looked it up they're coming out with this season four they, they are cool. yeah wow it's been because so I long. told her that you thought they hadn't because it'd been a while I, and she I said yeah because they weren't bringing cause it back because the main characters I guess split up in real life so they thought it wasn't coming back I didn't know they were together in real life because yeah, I, I just am always out of the loop. Yeah, <laughs> just whatever's in the show is what I know. Um, 
And so I was like, oh my gosh, that'd be, yeah, that'll be great. And it will be said, I'll just say potential spoilers uh, for season three is like, uh, Albert's not dead yet. So like, that, like yeah. if we have another season, like they clearly were setting it up Yes. On that last episode. On that last episode. That yeah. He, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I don't know, like history wise, I don't remember what do we know what he died from? So funny you were gonna you bring that up. So I don't remember what and we could look that up because you'd think that would stick in my mind, but modern theorists believe that he died of uh what's what today we refer to as Crohn's disease. And that's interesting to me because I have Crohn's disease. Oh my and oh, um, wow. he had um, gastrointestinal pains and issues and um, and all that and uh, yeah and I some pe some people when it first happened they thought it was the stress brought on by his son um, but uh, well and, and, and in the show in the show they try to make it the stress brought on from the uh, great exhibition like the whole. Right. Well, let me just you say know, Crohn's the, disease is exacerbated by stress. If you're somebody that carries oh. stress in your stomach, then it is just one thing and Even it just worse. Like, totally everything, it just mm. wreaks havoc on you. So, um, but yeah, uh, gastrointestinal, something they may have had some other name for it at the time. You know, they had, yeah, you looking that one up? Yeah, I'm looking. Yeah, I was like, because it's, uh, yeah, it's like, because, you know, just whatever the very first thing that pops up, they say he died from typhoid fever. That's but, what yes. How, but as you say, but that's like misdiagnosed. Possibly. Is, I mean, unless yeah, they possibly. assume the body. But I guess does it have the same kind of, yeah. Let's see. Does he have the same kind of like symptoms? Or do you know? Do you have any clue? I don't, I don't know. Is like? I don't know. Other than they said that he would, you know, he he suffered from gastrointestinal issues. And right. um, and and that would that would make sense. Um okay. I'm going to put what happens with typhoid fever. <laughs> yeah. And while you do that, I'm going to bring up the rainbows. Because oh, yes, that please. was yes. the most, I didn't even have a word for it. Just amazing for those who don't know that when Queen Elizabeth died, and I'm not saying it happened immediately after, but within uh, moments, I think some probably, can I go so far as to say within the hour that her death was announced? A mm -hmm. rainbow appeared over Windsor Castle. Remember, she died in Balmoral. Um, mm -hmm. Appeared over Windsor Castle, and a double rainbow appeared over um, yes. near near Buckingham Palace. And um, as a spiritual woman, I have to say that I think that is remarkable. I just mm -hmm. I'd like to say that that is more than coincidence. Um, mm -hmm. Queen Elizabeth herself was um, a, a, she considered herself to be a strong Christian woman, but I think. Mm -hmm. For someone who passed, let's just say, let's just say that was her. Mm -hmm. she right. Appeared as a rainbow to her people and her two castles and their two places where she reigned from. Right. And right. as if to say to the people, I'm done, but you're going to be right. okay. And yeah. Yeah. Like it's okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It is just so amazing that that happened and to me. And, and if you don't know that, and if anybody else doesn't know this too, that Thomas Jefferson and John Adams, who were the two biggest fighters for uh, the Declaration of Independence, um, they died on the 50th anniversary of the signing of Declaration of Independence, uh, 50 years later, exactly, not 51, not 48, right. 50 right. years later, and they died both within of hours of each other. So that's go so far as to say, too, that James Madison, who was also a uh, founder of the Constitution, died, mm -hmm. um, I think it was, wasn't it the 75th anniversary uh, on July 4th. So three founding fathers. Wow. On, an, on a specific, on a very specific, very specific day. Yes. Yes. We had. Um, I just think that's just so amazing. That's cool. Um, well, we discussed it at, at tea time, the rainbows. And what's funny, so like Kat brought it up and she was like, she goes, I've got a question. She goes, it might be a stupid question. And we're like, I was like, ask it. Ask us your stupid question. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the most fun. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. And then she was like, do, she's like, am I weird to think that like those rainbows were like, like meant something? And I was like, no, I was like, you know, we're going go. Nancy was so excited. She got goosebumps. But what I liked was that Kat said that she saw the two rainbows as Elizabeth 
reuniting with Philip. Oh dear. Oh no. You're I right. know. And when she threw that into it, I was like, oh, okay, that's beautiful. <laughs> I like that one even better. <laughs> so that's what I'm choosing. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, isn't it? I'll tell I'll tell Kat she made me cry. Yes, that was fantastic. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, right? Yeah. So wasn't that cool? Yeah. And that's I'm like, amazing. that's amazing. So that's really neat. Yeah. So, um, so my, my son William texted me. My son William. My William. <laughs> yeah. Right. Me that afternoon. Just very quick. And he, he's just like, I he goes, so I assume. <laughs> so it's like, so I assume you heard about the Queen. Um you know, Jose came home that night. And he, you know, he's like, it's kind of the same thing. You already, you already heard. It. He says, I didn't text you. I figured. It. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know about it. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, he listened to me go off a little bit oh. about it. Um, but it was funny yesterday as I'm sitting down and I'm printing out. I do a game, a trivia game um, at the tea parties, and I'm sitting. And he comes in. He goes, um, you probably, I don't know if you've heard this story. He said, did you ever hear about that story about the people who met the queen and didn't know it was the queen? And that is a story that has resurfaced, you know, to show her yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. humanity recently. And I oh, said, I know all about it. And, um, <laughs> and I, said, yeah. I said, but have you heard the one about how Frank got drunk and fell asleep in the hallway at Buckingham oh, House? He said, no, what about that? So I told him, and I, yeah. <laughs> can somebody please remove Frank from the hallway? He seems to be under, under the weather today. <laughs> That's what it was. Yeah, I couldn't remember how she said it, but it was just like, yeah, like totally cool. And, and yeah. a, be a beautiful thing. And, and the people who attended her to the end said that she was happy and still jovial. She had a very quick wit, a sarcastic wit. That mm -hmm. I loved because I can go to battle with somebody that way. Right. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so it was all great. So, um, yeah, yeah. Sad moments, and, but are we going to see a coronation? I'm assuming there will be a formal coronation. Um, yeah, I thought it's, I heard it's like 16 months. I feel like it's like a long time. I was thinking it was six months to a year, but I feel I like six months. Wow, 16 yeah. months. It's like you'd think that they, if they have the birthdays, or not the birthdays, I was Googling. You'd think if they had their funerals so pre planned, they would also have coronations like ready to go. Um, uh, you, yeah, I mean, and because some of that is, um, it's just yeah. that, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing to change. It's what you do. It's it's right. you know, been going on for how long, you know. Um, I was gonna look. When is Charles' Let's birthday? See. Because it, the Queen always celebrated two birthdays. Um, Let's see. Oh right, sure. You're good. right. Um, everybody just keeps shouting. Like, yeah, when will the uh -huh. Queen? His birthday is shortly after mine. His is at November 14th. Oh, okay. So, so yeah. They so he'll, want, do, he'll still do the summer birthday. <laughs> he will still do a summer birthday. Absolutely. But uh, um, what about uh, Will? Two questions on that. I wonder if he'll do a summer birthday when it's his turn, but we'll come together for two. Oh, right. And he's already a summer birthday. That's a good and, point. And, and 25 years, we'll come together. We'll talk about that. Yeah. He's um, like officially a summer birthday. Exactly. <laughs> the start right. of summer. So yeah. uh, it says uh, basically just based on that the queen ascended to the throne in 19 in february 1952 and was formally crowned june 1953 uh we can expect the coronation of king charles III to take place sometime in 2023 okay okay so yeah well again um, because we are coming up to winter months and i, I wonder if that isn't some of it or if or is that you know just a respectful time of mourning and yeah I think I feel like part of it's morning, but um, yeah, I think it's interesting that it's that uh, long. But so that, that's like kind of how that's why what uh, I was gonna say, what's his face? The Queen's uncle who abdicated. <laughs> he he won't be mentioned. Prince Eddie. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was like I that's like how he was king for a while, but he never made it to his coronation. So he wasn't right. correct. Right. Correct. You're right. right. Absolutely. He, so it, that's yeah. just his protocol, I guess. Well, do you yeah, think so, there will be an investiture? And I, I I was gonna I keep meaning to look at will there be an investiture for William as Prince of Wales? Will they do it from Cardiff like they did for for uh Charles? Oh right. When it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um I would think so. Like why not? You know? Um, because it hasn't been tradition. I, I don't think it's been a normal tradition to, to have oh, that. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I think. So why did Charles have it? Uh, because the, I think the queen wanted it. 
Okay. Yeah, I, I could be wrong about that. I'm speaking yeah. with an American, you know, going right, off, right. you know, off of my, uh, my tabloids. Um, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of the queen. Mm -hmm. um, so that comes back, that comes out in November, uh, back to Netflix, the new season. Ooh. Oh yep. yeah, that's going to be even like weirder to watch now. It's it like, it is. It's like, we already knew it was going to be weird just with Diana and stuff. You know, yeah. it's already yeah. started out weird because she's already in it <laughs> in yeah, the last right? season. I know. But Seriously. so now it's like going to be extra. Well, I'll say weird, but also like, uh, I don't know, more normal of like shows we're used to where it's usually about people who are no longer with us, right? Like, yes, like The Crown started out as a weird show because we were catching up to yes. different times. I've always questioned that. When, when they make movies of people who are still alive, shouldn't you wait for them to be gone? You know, I don't know. <laughs> right. I don't know. Hey, let I them get want... a little older. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say this is an awesome tea. For a black, yeah. it's a really good tea. I'm, I've got them ready to go. I'm going to mail them to you, by the way. Okay, awesome. But Thank you. Yeah, the Queen, I'm just going to put that out there again. Queen Elizabeth tea, um, it's delicious. Yes. Um, I have, real quick on tea, I have a new tea supplier who I'll tell you about off go ahead. camera. Floor is yours. I said off camera. I'll tell you who it is. Oh, off camera. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, but the um, they're sending me a uh, a whole bunch of samples that I've requested and it is like I'm excited so I'm gonna see how big the samples are but I should be able to do like half to you and half, so we can oh you're so sweet and it's like it's like 25 different flavors so I think we have tea tastings like scheduled <laughs> like you know we ran out of tea to taste. We've, got him, we've got him until, until, like until, we got him. until William takes over gotcha right. <laughs> uh, my my brother uh was here a couple weeks ago and um he uh he brought me a couple of teas he lives in Georgia now so he brought me um a black peach tea and mm. actually quite good um but it's very powdery like it's so powdery it like falls through Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, mm -hmm. definitely requires a bag. Um, and then he brought me a green jasmine tea. It's from some company in Savannah. They oh. would be surprised if they get it from the Bigelow company that's in Charleston. Um, oh, I see. Because they're like private label. Charleston are so close. I could be wrong. But anyway, I haven't tried that because as you know, I, you and I don't do green tea very often. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. Yeah, I but tried I to pick. Try. Oh, yeah, I, was say, I tried to pick a few new green tea ones. I can't remember now off the top of my head what they were. Uh, but yes, I tried to pick a nice pick, not all black tea, not all flavorful black tea. Right, right. <laughs> we got white. Uh, I found quite a, I don't know, probably at least three rooibos ones um, that were good. I'm going to see if I can pull up my list real quick. Uh, to tell you any of the exciting ones. Oh yeah, because uh, when you supply, then you have to provide that non-caffeinated. You have to give that option to people. For for which? tea, when when you do oh. for any of them, you have to have a non you know an uncaffeinated decaf blend for people who don't. Sure. Yeah, yeah. that don't want caffeine. Yeah. yeah. So there is so there's a blueberry pie green tea. <laughs> so interesting. Um, there is, let's see, a buttered rum black tea. Ooh. And I'm like, not even, I'm not going to like tell you all of them. I'm just giving you a few. Yeah. There's a Santa's milk and cookies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> which wow. I believe is, can't remember now. I think that's a black tea. Uh, let's see. There is, uh, I did get like, a one of the China black ones. Good. Uh, let's see. Oh, they have a double cream Earl Grey. So I'm gonna try that. Wow, what is that? That I, I know. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then yeah, the other ones, some just have fun names, but won't give you an idea of what in the world the flavor is. Gotcha. <laughs> so I'll just excellent. Say excellent. Oh, well, but, I, yeah. just, I, I would love to be your guinea pig. I, I always do. Yes. Well, you know, and you sold me on the um sold me on, not sold it to me, but sold sure. me on the cherry the, rose. Uh, the cherry rose. Um, festival mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I have since um, given samples to a couple of people or served that at tea parties and um, gotten rave reviews on that so my friend Emma my yeah. other British sub um, substitute teacher friend oh, right 
she says, you know, she said, I only, I really, I said, and I, I just I had a conversation with her. And I said, I said, let me guess. I said, you probably only drink PG tips, right? She goes, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and, <laughs> I know. Um, and uh, I said, uh, I said, okay. I said, cause I do a lot of tea. And I said, I won't give you the really Americanized version ones. And she says, I don't do green tea. And I said, I'm going to let you try one. I said, you might be pleasantly surprised because I, that one is a tea like no other. And the other green that I really like was, the, and I had you try it one time was the mm -hmm. vanilla green. And oh, right. It's actually mm -hmm. delicious with milk, but you're not supposed to do it with green tea. But right, that, right. But with the vanilla, vanilla, you get yes. away with it. It was very, very good. So, yes. yeah, so um, a friend of mine, we've known each other, gosh, since before we've had kids. Our husbands have flown together, et cetera, et cetera. And she texted me like two weeks ago. She goes, would it be weird to have a tea party for my birthday? I'm like, absolutely not. No. So, um, so yeah, so I'm giving her a tea party. Oh, I have to show you. Awesome. This is the cutest thing. I, say, I like your pink cake stand that I can see. This one? So yeah. there's actually another tier that goes with this. Let me put this here. And I found this at World Market two years ago. Oh, that's so pretty. Light off. I, Isn't it gorgeous? It's I love gorgeous. it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, so I was at Michael's some months back. This is the prettiest thing ever. Oh, yeah. It's gold. Really I gold. love it. Uh-huh. It's, it's gold. It's gold. It's Golden a candle flowers. Mm -hmm. with a vanilla scented candle. There's no saucer that goes with it, but um, the, this is, will be the prize for the game. Whoever wins oh, awesome. trivia, um, man, oh man, I'm going to say, and if you don't want it, <laughs> I will take it back. Right, right. Don't, yeah, don't bring it to your Christmas, like white elephant. Just give it no, back to me. <laughs> just give it to me. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. I wish, uh, I wish it did have a saucer. I would definitely have bought two of them because that is, oh, right. there is that pink mm -hmm. and those roses. They're just, know, it's so pretty, just gorgeous. So, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so do you know how many, how many, uh, people? 10. Uh, lovely. Lovely. Just 10. Perfect number. It is a perfect yeah. number. It is one loaf of bread per type of sandwich is what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I've got that down. I have got that down. She's I like, what are you going to do to that? And I said, yes, I said, let's have a couple of sandwiches. I said, I don't decorate cakes. I'm happy to right. bake a cake. I do, I do simple, you know, very typical English style cakes where there sure. a lot of times they're just one layer, like a ginger cake or something like that. Right. Maybe some powdered sugar um, over the top of it or something. Right. Um, but she said, no, 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 I'll go get my own cake. Um, her mom is helping her do this. And uh, nice. yeah, she says, well, she says, you can just bring twinings. You don't have, honey, I will bring teas I said, that's, yeah that's it's like no no all yeah like i will bring what i bring <laughs> yes exactly i love introducing people to new right. teas because everybody thinks as we've said before there's only english breakfast and earl gray right right so, yeah so much more than that especially um <laughs> what'd you say especially <laughs> <what>? in america <laughs> right well let's just say yeah it was like the avid brit is like no it's like pg tips or tetley or whatever <laughs> yes. Even Thank right you. down to Lipton. Yeah, believe it or not. Right, which right. Is, which so is I was going to show you yes. two things. Okay. So one, I just like, because it's like the one thing I have where it's both of both of them hanging out. Very nice. Uh, what is that? A book? Huh? Is that a book? Yeah, it's the official souvenir program, according to the top. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. That's and amazing. what's funny is I got it from my mom. Aww. What was it? She's like, uh, oh gosh, my mom, uh, like, um, please, like, uh, probably gives money to PBS and whatever. Yeah, and so, yeah, like, yeah. they did like a drawing thing, a local thing, and I guess someone had brought back a ton of this type of stuff from that year. And like she won it and gave it all to me. So I have a ton of cool stuff. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's so cool. Isn't that great? Well done yeah. you, mom. I know, right? And then look here, I forgot. Yeah, we got our front page. Beautiful. Trying to get so great. Yeah, I see. I know the picture. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so great. So nice. But um, and then I was gonna show you. So this is something that. I found randomly in an antique shop probably like five years ago or something and I got it and I was like I don't know why but I just I like it I like old things so this is a tiny little magazine called quick magazine uh that is from <laughs> August 15th 1949 10 cents 
it came in plastic. I just pulled out plastic because, uh, yeah, people pictures predictions and it says, England's baby prince, will he ever be king? Question mark. And it's him, yeah, with his parents. And I just loved it when I bought it because it was like, oh man, like they didn't even know, will he ever be king? <laughs> We're still waiting. Oh my gosh. Know, well, she yeah. was so young when she took over. So they, you know, yeah, any diseases or anything like that. They knew she was going to reign for a while anyway. Right, right. But I was like, that's so cool. So now I've got it and he, he made it. He's king. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's just funny. So um, I've got, uh, so there's another teacher the day after when, when the queen passed and she pulls me, she goes, come here, come here, come here, come here. She pulls me in her room. She goes, I got to show you this. And she, on, on, the, on her wall, she has this white tea towel with that picture, it's just the face of this Queen Elizabeth. One? No, 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 no. The, the, oh, oh okay. The other one? Yes, from here. Yeah, just, yeah. It was a tea towel. It just said Queen Elizabeth II. And, oh, that's awesome. Um, and a friend of hers, <laughs> it's funny, she said, um, she told a friend, this, we, you know, she said, we've been doing this for months. And I've told her, send, send me some things, you know, with, with uh, the queen on it. And yeah. she said, and this package shows up with this tea towel and it was from Amazon. <laughs> and that's not what I'm talking about. She said, um, but the friend is now sending her newspapers from the day that the queen passed away. And I'm like, oh, I'm so jealous. Oh. So jealous. What a great thing to have. Yes. That's smart. Yeah. yeah. Your, your, your light bulb's like, right there. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, Claire. <laughs> I've been messaging with Claire. Yeah, I was like, I've been Thank messaging you. with Claire. But, and she used to, like, I have a whole... I mean, a nice little stack of random magazines and things that like she would get for me because Prince William would be on them <laughs> in, the height of, in the height of my obsession. <laughs> right, right. Um, yeah. Well, there's going to be, you know, there's going to be a coronation cup. There's going to be something that there are going to be things oh, coming out. So I'm going to be snatching up everything I can within my price range. I know. <laughs> Someone seriously. already asked me that. Yeah, I was like, yeah. yeah. And then my friend Christy asked me if I had my tattoo appointment booked for my King Charles tattoo. <laughs> and I was like, well, I, I, I said that on that fateful day, like I need to, I'm going to get the years first for her. Right. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, her years reigning. And then um, I, yeah. And I was like, I don't care. I'll do Like, I want to see what his royal cipher looks like. I don't know. They have it. Do they have it designed already? Yeah, or is designed it, it, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Although, again, it's one of those things I would think that they have already probably had some meetings about this and some design. Right. Right. Situation. Um, but so my friend, I told you, we've got those friends that are over there. Um, right. And we're hoping to go in August if everything goes well um, to go Ooh. see them in London. And uh, but if I'm not there, it's going to be like, OK, I need you to give me a cup. Well, yeah. So, and and that's like awesome to go if because the I was there in 2012 when it was the Jubilee, but it was before the celebrations. So like the stores are like stocked with like awesome great everything. Stuff. So yeah, like that's awesome and stuff. and that was the Olympics year. So it's like you could pick up like anything, but you weren't there for the like wild events. Right. <laughs> like right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully we'll see next August. I mean, that's less than a year away at this point. So um I don't know if they would have, you know, uh, a cup or something like that. So we'll we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Yeah. We'll have to see. Uh, I'm, interesting. I'm looking. They're showing. They're still showing Elizabeth's cipher. Uh, someone. Oh, okay. I guess they're showing right now. His cipher is on like a little pin that he wears. Uh, let me see if I can share my screen real quick so I can show you. And you know, and I had I had messaged myself some. Uh, there you go. So this is what Let's we should see. do more of. It's some more of these screen yeah. shares. Right. Okay. Is it going to come up? Let me see. I'd love to see it. There it is. So you see, there's like the C and the R, right? Nice. Nice. That's cute. I like it, and it's different. Well, it doesn't hurt that it's all in diamonds. It's beautiful. Well, sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Just yeah. say. Right. So well, it might not be so impressive. Yeah. Um, so um, yeah. let's see. So my next uh, thing to figure out is do I put it him next to his mom or does he get his own wrist hmm. for the tattoo? How many reigns do you think you're going to live through? 
You're going to live through Charles and you're going to live into William. I think I'm going to live into William. Yeah, I'll say, heaven forbid it gets past William. <laughs> but <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be like 75 getting my fourth tattoo. <laughs> right. Well, because you could do Elizabeth and Charles and then you could do William and George. Right. That's what I was thinking. I know. That's what I was thinking. But I would say by the time I get to George, I'll be so, <laughs> so, so much old older. And but I'll just, yeah, but they'll be like, really? Like, you still care? And I'm like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, but a cipher on. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so let's talk about that too. So it's, it's all these years. Queen, long live the queen. Queen, queen, queen. They've all, you know, right. monarch, you know, and um, we're looking at three kings. At least. I know. That's wild. It yeah. is wild. It is and, wild. And because even... Yeah, because it's like, let's say if for whatever reason, George doesn't have kids or what age wise or whatever, right, then it goes, it gets to go to Charlotte. That's like basically our only shot at a queen at this point. Correct. Unless, unless I guess when George gets older, if he has a daughter, right, if he has a daughter first. Yeah. She'd be next Trevor, next where are you when we need you? She feels like um, she'd be next. She would be next in line. Yeah. And, so, and also yeah. the whole consort, somebody was asking me that. What exactly does, I mean, she's still queen. I think it, Are it we just constantly going to say queen consort Camilla? Or no, you're going to say queen Camilla. You're going to, you know. Right, so. right. Because it was like, like Queen Mary, she would have been a queen consort, right? Like, so it, it's just that you're not a queen in your own right. Like once your husband dies, you are not a reigning monarch on your own. Okay, but. Would Diana have been? Was she going to be a queen consort or was she just going to be queen? Isn't Kate going to be queen or is she going to be queen consort? I thought consort well, was like signified. Um, yeah, I guess. Let me see. What? Yeah. What? What does consort mean? Because. All right. Let's see. Because, okay, so it's the female ruler. Oh no, that's just queen. <laughs> Through marriage, a queen consort is the female partner, spouse, or companion to the king. Kate will become a queen consort. What'd you so, say? Kate will become a queen consort. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's the wife of the reigning monarch. So, kind of like when, let's go back to Victoria. When right. Albert was by her oh, side, right. they refused to give him the title of king. Right. Without, and Prince Philip know, didn't have... likely ran the country. Right. Um, well, Prince Philip didn't get it either. He <laughs> and he did not get it either. Yeah. He, yeah. They were both still considered consort, but they did not want to. Right. Um, a king would always elevate over a queen. So they could right. never right. do anything that would elevate over. Um, right. So, okay, so yeah, so it's not, so I guess everyone is basically just all up in arms because she gets the title of a queen. That's it. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, well, that's what she'll be. Yes, yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so controversy, as they, as the British like to say, we say controversy, controversy. Um, so what I said before we came on air is that Andrew was, um, well, okay, let's, let's go back. Yeah, for, so weekend. yeah, update. Yeah, so yes. today, Charles was booed by some of the Scottish people because they, the Scotland wants to, there are a lot of people, there's a movement in Scotland, it's been for years, they would like- Wait, Charles to, was booed? Charles was booed. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, that he was booed. They want to be their own separate country. They do not want to fall under the Great Britain blanket. Okay. Um, and uh, oh, there was this- And then, but say, then Andrew but came along? Andrew, yeah, the Andrew, um, yeah, he was uh, not received very well to the, um, the not the walkabout, but the procession. Um, I think it was from the chapel uh, from St. Giles and somebody yelled out uh, something like, you're a, you're a filthy old man or you're a dirty old man or something like that. <laughs> um, so a lot of people were saying that, you know, this, this may be the last time you see Andrew um, mm -hmm. because Charles isn't going to have him taint his own reign. Um, no. I don't, yeah, so Charles does it hard enough as it is. He doesn't need that. Yes, yeah. He doesn't need that. Um, and Harry's book is going to be coming out soon. And um, so uh, royal speculators are saying that 
for now, Charles and um, and William are still, that's one of the reasons they're kind of keeping him at bay and not trying to possibly reconcile anything because they don't know what's coming in this book and mm. um, and waiting to see what happens there. Right, so, right. Um, yeah. Um, I, could, I could see that. I could also just see it as like they had such a big rift, it might take a bit of time to come back together anyway, like regardless of a book, you know, like they may not be hesitant about the book. I mean, sure, they could be, but I would say like, they weren't gonna be like right back to where they were no, anyway, no. immediately. But if this book were not to be coming out, if this book doesn't throw them all under the bus and right. slam them over and back up and roll them over and right, back right. And roll them over again, mm -hmm. which it sounds like this book might do. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, time heals all wounds. I can say that from my own sibling rivalries and, and complications and stuff that, um, sometimes, you know, as, as time and age move forward, you just kind of move on and go, well, you know, events bring you together and you start talking and then you kind of talk again later and you kind of, you know, you slowly just, maybe apologies aren't said necessarily, okay. not holding breath, um, <laughs> speaking from my, my own experience. Yeah. Um, but if this comes out and it really is ugly against, mm -hmm. you know, his dad and his brother and the rest of the family, right. then, um, and it's just gonna, it's just gonna further. Right. And, and it really is, if it is, it's really, I mean, I just think, I keep saying thrown under the, the side from the family thing too. This is your dad's chance to rule, to reign. Mm -hmm. You were raised under that monarchy blanket and you are trashing it. And you are undermining your dad's right. to well, reign cleanly and and fair, I guess. But you know, and same with but at the same time, it's not like he knew that his dad was become king at the same time that his book was coming out. Like there's no pulling no, it back now, right? No, but it was still gonna come out. He still did it no matter what. You know, it well, was well, that's yeah. I would say I would be if I were them, I'd be hesitant to get like totally back and great with them because of like future books like what am i what are we doing right now with you that might end up out in the public later like i feel like i would have more trouble trusting him going forward like yeah you might not love what he's gonna what's gonna come out in the book but you might have sort of an idea of what kinds of things he would say but like but in those moments you weren't like questioning where that was going to end up right so now it's like you're basically i would say paranoid <laughs> right? right like yes yes yeah yes, yeah, yeah. being paranoid about talking to him or getting like too close with him again mm -hmm. and telling him certain things yeah right which is unfortunate i mean i'm i'm still i still i'll see what the book says but i still was like whatever guys like do you know do your thing but it's also at the expense of uh, your relationship with your family. Yeah. Like, if you have an yeah. issue with your family, should you not just, shouldn't that be fought behind closed doors? I mean, do you really, is this, is this a, are these battles that really need to be brought out into the public? I mean, are you trying well, to bring down yeah. the monarchy because you think that what they're doing is so inherently bad that, you know, well, what's, what's, I just realized what's ironic. I say, well, he learned it from mommy and daddy. <laughs> they did this and they did this while the queen was reigning. So they screwed yeah. up her reign. So now it's like, that's true. She can come on to roost or yeah. whatever. <laughs> it, 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 yeah. it is a different <laughs> era of, of being able to, of voicing up and, and saying what you feel, which is not what Elizabeth exemplified. It's, it's funny. I listened sure. to this, um, if you'll call it a podcast today and um a brit was being interviewed and he said um gone now is the time of an example of duty because mm -hmm. that has been replaced with a new generation of we have rights it's not let's you know i have a duty and this is what i have to 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 do it's well i don't feel like doing that and i have a right to do this and da 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 and I thought there was a lot of, there is a lot of truth to that. And it's not just in England, it's yeah, everywhere. Sure. Um, so I thought, yeah, that is, you know, they said, it, it, we're, we're waiting to see what happens. And, and um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. There, there's a lot that's being more and more than just a person. It's a way of life that is going to be bygone very soon. Right. Yeah. And I think there's, 
nothing like, I don't know, neither right or wrong about it. It's just as a different thing because you can look at the queen and be like, well, it's sort of like unfortunate that she felt like she had to do it, right? Like duty in, I don't know, I'll, I just feel like duty in a sense is just like the pressures you're putting on yourself or people are placing upon you and you're accepting. So uh, that she chose that, that's awesome. And I really admire, and I think that's so cool that she did that, but I'm also not gonna hold it against anybody who's like, no, I'm good. Like, like this is weird. I was born into it. Like, you know, maybe Harry. I'm gonna step Harry. out. And, yeah. and William and Kate are probably gonna have a new style of what duty yeah. is, Absolutely. right? Yes. Yes, and, yeah. and yeah, in order to, they, they are, they're already very different. And Charles is already, you know, it's all, it's all going to be very different. So you and I will be sitting on the sidelines from a very distant sideline, unlike other people and watching <laughs> it all unfold and, and, and expressing our opinions along the way and having good right. tea while we do it. Exactly. So yes. I'm looking at yes. my time and you said, you I know, four, yeah, I've got to so. go at four, but um, this has been lovely okay. <laughs> glad that we got to do this yeah. yeah and i had to point out because the uh you know the royals are always very or or their stylist whoever was very intentional about what they're wearing and what little details there are yeah. okay so i have my little princess diana earrings oh yes 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 very good yes. i have those yeah um, i have pearls because the queen loved pearls yes i wore them yesterday. and then i have my little crown and my little flag <laughs> yes, you do. excellent i almost wore my my the earrings the ones that we have similar but i'm like all right i'll, right. I'll, I'll stick with here so very good right. yeah so, so thank you i just had to show that off because it's like i've had it on in the news and it's like nobody's gonna know what i'm doing <laughs> i wore a polka dot a very fine polka dot i call it my kate middleton dress and oh I wore it yesterday and i had the pearls on and everything so oh, that's awesome yeah that's so, great well should we end this by saying long live the king yeah i think we should yeah we can say god bless the queen right yeah. i believe that's what we say and now long live the, long king. Live the king yeah, yeah. it's it's wild to have a king now I know. Very <laughs> strange. Very strange. yeah all right so now, let's play all right next one and i will send you teas i would yes. have to do it before next week and i and i can't be on my foot nor in a car for quite a while right i know oh no Hester, call me i'll be going mad yeah i was gonna say do you want to just have a tea every day <laughs> while you're laying up i probably will be just i know right yeah. on my own <laughs> It'll be Nancy Instagram. It'll be a shot of a teacup in front of a busted foot. That's just gonna say, just like, just come online and just start spewing all your royal stuff <laughs> while you're drinking tea every day. And half of it won't make sense because I'll be on painkillers at the same time. No, so yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like that's what that's gonna be golden. <laughs> next, Monday, next Tuesday or Monday, you'll see me with the broken foot with CNN in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I should say BBC. That's what I would be watching. Right, BBC. right. Yeah, that's great. Anyway, all right. So good to see you. Glad we got Wonderful you. Wonderful to see you. Yes. Yes. And, and once again, God save the king. All right. God save the king. All right. Cheerio. Bye. Bye.